What is the formula for power factor? Is it A, Q divided by S, B, P divided by S, C, P divided by Q? Time's up. The answer is B, P divided by S. Power factor equals to real power divided by apparent power. What is the unit of power factor? A, watts. B, voltage amperes. C, none. Time's up. The answer is C, none. It is the ratio between real power and apparent power. What is the value of the power factor when theta equals to 45 degrees? A, 1. B, 0 0.707. C, 0. Time's up. The answer is B, 0 0.707. If we have a lagging power factor of 0.3, then which type of load is greater in the circuit? A. Capacitive load. B. Inductive load. C. Resistive load. Time's up. The answer is B. Inductive load. Because higher the inductive load, lower will be the power factor. What is the value of the power factor when we have a purely resistive load? A, 0, B, 0.5, C, 1. Time's up. The answer is C, 1. When we have a purely resistive load, the angle between the real and apparent power is 0 degrees and cosine 0 equals 1. Why is the power factor 1 for a purely resistive load? A. Only reactive power is consumed. B. Only active power is consumed. C. Both A and B. Time's up. The answer is B. Only active power is consumed. Resistive loads do not consume any reactive power, so the factor remains at 1. What is a typical formula for reactive power? A, Q equals VI cosine theta. B, Q equals VI sine theta. C, Q equals VI. Time's up. The answer is B, Q equals VI sine theta. According to the power triangle, sine theta is equal to the hypotenuse upon base, which is equal to Q upon S, which is equal to Q upon VI. Then Q is equal to VI sine theta. What will be the angle between real and reactive power when we have a purely inductive load? Is it A, 0 degrees, B, 60 degrees, C, 90 degrees? Time's up. The answer is C, 90 degrees. When we have a purely inductive load, then power factor is equal to zero. So cosine inverse zero is equal to 90 degrees. An electric current of 5 amps is passing through an inductive load that has a potential difference of 4 kilovolts and a lagging power factor of 0.5. What will be its apparent power at load? Is it A, 25 kVA, B, 20 kVA, C, 10 kVA. Time's up. The answer is B, 20 kVA. S is equal to VI, which is equal to 4,000 multiplied by 5. The answer is 20,000 or 20 kVA. When we have a load of leading power factor, then what will be the sign of reactive power? A positive, B, negative, C, none of them. Time's up. The answer is B, negative. When we have a leading power factor, then the angle should be negative, and according to reactive power formula, if angle is negative, then due to sine of angle reactive power is also negative. If we increase reactive power by increasing inductive load, then what effect will occur in apparent power? Current 
angle and power factor due to an increase in reactive power. A. Apparent power increases. Angle increases. Current increases. Power factor increases. B. Apparent power increases. Angle increases. Current increases. Power factor decreases. C. Apparent power increases. Angle decreases. Current increases. Power factor increases. Time's up. The answer is B. Apparent power increases. Angle increases. Current increases. Power factor decreases. When reactive power is increasing, apparent power will also increase because the apparent power is directly proportional to the reactive power. Also, when the angle between the real and reactive power is increased due to the increase in inductive load, the current is increased. However, the power factor decreases with an increase in apparent power because power factor is inversely proportional to the apparent power. Why is it important to have a power factor close to unity? A. A unity power factor will increase system losses and increase the current which reduces the power demand. B. A unity power factor will decrease system losses and decrease the current which reduces the power demand. C. Low power factor decreases copper losses. Time's up. The answer is B. A unity power factor will decrease system losses and decrease the current which reduces the power demand. How capacitor will improve the power factor in inductive loads? A. By connecting capacitor in parallel, which reduces reactive power. B. By connecting capacitor in series, which reduces reactive power. C. Both A and B. Time's up. The answer is A. By connecting capacitor in parallel, which reduces reactive power. When we connect the capacitor in a parallel with a inductive load, it generates negative reactive power, which cancels out reactive power generated due to inductive load, and reactive power decreases due to this subtraction. Since apparent power decreases with a decrease in reactive power, and apparent power is inversely proportional with the power factor, if apparent power decreases, then the power factor will increase. How do synchronous motors improve the power factor? A. At full load, the motor starts to provide reactive power because of increase in magnetizing current which acts as an inductor. B. At no load, the motor starts to provide reactive power because of the increase in magnetizing current which acts as a capacitor. C. None of these. Time's up. The answer is B. At no load, when the magnetizing current of the motor is increased, the power factor changes from lagging to leading, which acts as a capacitor and improves the power factor of the system. How much power factor is recommended for maximum efficiency and minimum power losses? A. Less than or equal to 0.5 B. More than or equal to 0.8 C. More than 1.2 Time's up. The answer is B, more than or equal to 0.8. If reactive power by capacitor is greater than reactive power by inductor, then what will be the sign of the angle between real and apparent power? A, current lagging. B, voltage lagging. Or C, none of the above. Time's up. The answer is A. Current lagging. If reactive power by capacitor is greater than reactive power by inductor, then we are left with the capacitive part only and since reactive power due to capacitive load is negative, the angle between real and apparent power is also negative. Negative angle shows a leading power factor where current leads voltage or voltage lags the current. Hi. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Comment below and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get updates on whenever we post new content. Thank you and see you next time.